Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. This video is all about vShop AI tutorial. In case if you have no idea what is vShop AI, so I'll tell you that it is a platform that is generated by AI. Here if you have an image of a product like a dress or any other product of your choice, you really have a bad image of it and you want a good image. So you put that image up here and it will make it into a better one so that you can use it for marketing and for your social media. To use this platform, it is very easy and very simple. You have to go to the browser, search for vShop AI or you can find its link in the description. You just have to simply go with the link and then you will get onto its website. Once you get there, we have different options that you can use like you can use this mannequin option, you can use the model option, the product one, the toy one, the children one and image to image or text to image or different options. So it's all up to you whatever option you would like to go with you just have to simply click onto it later on you just have to simply create something from it here i'm going with this model option once i get there it's time to upload an image as a reference therefore i'm just going to click onto this option and later on we just have to simply upload or drag and drop an image up here once we have just simply uploaded the image it will show you like this and after that you just have to simply choose what kind of part you would like to use you can use the dress or maybe whatever image part you want here i'm going with the coat one and the tie one because i need these two things after that you have to click on done option and it will take you up here so to make it better we have to give a description or you can see the prompt both of these options are same or you can just go with the template it's all up to you this time i'm going with the template later on we will go with the prompt so for that i'm just going to use this one because i think this one looks really good and after that we have some of the keywords or different kind of styles that you can choose it's all up to you you can choose any one of these and then you have to choose the background there are different backgrounds available we just have to choose one and after we have just selected everything just simply click on the generate option then it will take you here here it will just take like a minute or maybe few seconds to work onto it and once it done it will generate an image and here you can see that it has generated four different images here you can see the left one is the actual image and the right one is what it has generated so that's how it enhances your product it could be any kind of dress or other product of your choice later on you can just simply go for product and other options as well in product you just have to simply upload the image that you want to use and later on it will add a background to it and make it better once you get to this option you have to click onto this one this one is the sample one once you click onto it you will see the difference like what was the image and what it has created likewise whatever we add up here it will work onto it simply click onto this option new task and then upload the image that you want to use once you have uploaded the image, it will work onto it and later on you can make it better. So here I have selected this image. On the right side, we have to choose which part we need. Therefore, I have clicked onto it. So here is the product. I have selected only this part and I'm going with done. And now I'm just going to go with the templates. So in the templates, we have different options. We can go for it or we can just simply go with the prompt or the description. This is a screen grid product, therefore I need something, water splashes, water or some kind of mirror effect to it, therefore I'm just explaining to it. Likewise, whatever option you would like to go with, whatever is in your mind, you can just simply explain it here and it will definitely work according to it. Here I'm done with this thing, therefore I'm just going to click onto this option, generate and now it will start generating it. And here are the results. It has generated four different variations and it is something that I was looking for. It has added some water effects to it and the wide and the mirror effect is also there. Likewise, whatever option you would like to go with, you just have to simply choose that one and later on add different things. Like you can go with the toys one and if you want to do something like children, you can also go with that option and few other options also available you can also explore these and that's it this is how you can use the vshop ai i hope you found this video helpful and informative in case if you have not subscribed the youtube channel then make sure to subscribe it for more informative videos and updates and i really appreciate you watching this video till the very end and thank you so much for it